कर दिया नमस्ते गुरु कुरियंस आई होप यू माइट बी सेफ एट होम एंड यू नो वेरी वेल येस्टरडे इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू द डेसिमल्स एंड एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ द डेसिमल्स आई होप यू विल हैव सीन दी दिस थिंग एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट our next thing this is the second part of the decimals exercise 4.1 now today we will learn how we can multiply the decimals there are different types of the decimals first thing here that we have to discuss that is the multiplication of the decimal numbers by whole numbers first thing that is the first question here this is the multiplication of decimals by whole numbers by whole numbers so now we will learn this by taking an example like in here we are taking the example this is the 7.6 multiplied by 12 so you can see very easily this is 7.6 it is a decimal number and 12 this is the whole number now it is a very simple way to find their product their value their multiplication so first of all we have to do simple multiplication without in without the decimal part like here this is 7.6 i'm going to write it 7.6 multiply by 12 this is a very simple multiplication we can do it very easily so now multiply it from here to z or simply we can in seven standard we know about the table of 12 like 12 six down Seven. Now here seven and twelve sevens are that is eighty four. Eighty four plus seven it is ninety one. Now what is the answer? We can write the answer here. This is nine one two. So now what we have to do? What is the special thing here? So now here we have to count the decimal point, digits after the decimal point in all the numbers. Like here, how many digits after the decimal point? There is only one digit, and here there is no digit after decimal point. That's why it's a very simple. Now we have to put the decimal point just counting the one digit from the last because. it has only one digit after decimal point so count the digits one digit so we can put the decimal point here this is the very simple way of the multiplication of a decimals by whole numbers is it clear so now come to the next part this is second thing here second thing we have to multiply equation of the decimals by decimal multiply equation of decimals by decimal We will learn. This is also by taking an example here. It's also very simple. Like I'm taking an example here. Seven point zero one. This is a decimal number, and we have to take another decimal number. I'm taking here one point one. Both are the decimal numbers. Now we have to find their product. How we can find? Again, same problem. First of all, we have to find their simple multiplication. Like here, this is seven zero one, and multiply by 
level. First of all, find simple multiplication. Here we have to multiply, like here, 11, 1, 11, simply here 1, then 1 carry here, 11, 0, 0, plus 1, this is 1. Now come to the next 11, 7 now, this is 77. This is the product of these two. So now we have to write this number here. This is 7, 7, 1, 1. Clear? Again we have to repeat the same procedure. That means count the digits after decimal point. Not only in this number, in this number also. How many digits? Like 1, 2 and 3. They are the total number of the three digits after decimal point. Two here and one here. Three digits. That means we have to count three digits from the last. Then we can put the decimal point. Like here, one, two, three. So put the decimal point here. This is the answer. It's a very simple thing. So is it clear? And students, you have to write these things on your notebook also. So now come to the next question. Next question here, question number third. These are these some special cases. Some special cases here we have to multiply the decimal numbers by the numbers like 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 which are containing zeros. So how we can? So this is also simple way here like this is question number third. We have to solve some special things here. These are very simple. Like here. I'm taking first example, this is here 4.5 multiplied by 10. It's a very simple to multiply such type of things. Again, we have to repeat the same procedure, but here, as we know, when we multiply anything by 1, then we can get the same number. Like here, first of all, we have to multiply this. What is this? This is the 4.5. I'm taking it as a 45. So multiply it to 1. So then it becomes 45. And how many zeros here? Here only 1 0. So we can put here 1 0. So now again we have to count the digits after decimal point. How many digits? Here this is 1 digit because there is no digit here. So, total number of digits after decimal point, these are only one digit. So, we have to count one digit from the last, so we can put the decimal point here. What is this? This is the 45.0. 45.0. 45.0 because there is a zero, only zero after decimal point, then there is no meaning even. We can write it simply. 45. If there is only 0, then we can write. If there is another digit there, like 1, then we can't write. It. Clear? So now I'm taking one more example here related to this one. Like here, this is 88.8 multiplied by 1. Again here. Because what is this digit? This is the 1. First of all, we have to multiply this number by 1. That means what we can write? We can simply write here 888. Then how many zeros there? 1, 2, 3. So we can write 3 zeros here. What is the next step? In the next step, we have to count the digits after decimal point. Then how many digits? Here one digit and total number of digits only one. 
So we have to count the one digit from the last. That is one. That means we can put the decimal point here. Because again there is only zero after decimal point. So what we can write? We can write it simply. What is the answer? Is it clear? This is a very simple thing. Now, next thing here, next question. This is also very very simple question here. We have done such type of things many times. So, what did we do? Some special things like here. First part. I'm taking an example here. Four point three nine seven multiplied by one. So what is the answer? Yes. What is the answer? It's a very simple thing. Observe this thing carefully. What is this? One. And it is our identity. That means when we multiply anything by one, then what is the answer? The number itself. The number itself. So, what is the answer? This is the four point three nine seven. Is it clear? So, always remember this. When we multiply anything by one, then we can get the same number. Is it clear? So now it has a second part. This is also a special thing here, like. I'm taking example zero point one five multiplied by zero. So think about it. What is the answer? Observe this thing carefully. What is this? This is the zero. And when we multiply anything by zero, then what is the answer? What is the result? This is zero. This is zero. So always remember that thing. When we multiply anything by zero, then doesn't matter what is. Zero. Then its answer always zero. So is it clear? So students, you have to write these things also in your notebook. So now come to the next question. This is also very interesting. A very interesting fact here. It is given here in this question. This is the question number five. If it is given here, like I'm taking a number here, four, three, two, one, multiply by. We can take any number. I'm taking here. Twenty-two, and its answer also given. Its answer, this is nine five zero six. Yes, it is already given. When we multiply four thousand three hundred twenty-one by twenty-two, then answer is this is nine five zero six. So we can say ninety five thousand sixty two. So now, by using these things, we have to find something like here. Then find its first part forty three point two one multiplied by two. So now, observe it carefully. Is there any difference? Between these two things, there is a difference of decimal point here. In the given thing, there is no decimal point, but here is the decimal point. But digits are same, numbers are same. So that means their multiplication, their product also same. Like we can first of all we have to write this is same number here. Again, we have to repeat the same procedure. Here, we have to count the digits after decimal point. How many digits after decimal point? One, two. 
there are total two digits after decimal point. That means we have to count two digits from the last one, two. Here is two. That means we can put the decimal point here. This is very simple and very interesting thing. So I'm taking one more example related to this one. This is here. Let's take four, three, two. Point one, point one, multiply by zero point zero two two. What will be the answer? We can find its answer also without multiplication because here product of four thousand three hundred twenty one and twenty two it is given. Observe these numbers. This is also. Same number, and this is numbers here also twenty, but there is a difference of decimal points. First of all, again we can write this one here nine five zero six. What is the next step? In the next step, again we have to count the digits after decimal point in the in both the numbers, in both the decimal numbers. Like here, how many digit? One digit only. But here, one, two, three. Three digits here and one digit here. How many total digits? Total number of digits. These are four after decimal. That means we have to count four digit from the last. That means here, one, two, three, four. Here four digits. That means we can put the decimal point here. Is it clear? So students, this is all about the multiplication of the decimals. This is our exercise four point one. I have done here some examples, but you have you have to try to solve the many parts by yourself. So we will meet in the next video. Since have a nice day. Good luck.